Children learn about their world first and foremost through relationships. We know that for cognitive activity to occur, there has to be a social and emotional bond. And if a teacher makes good eye contact and uses language to connect with the baby, as well as physical touch, these are the elements of forming a nurturing and caring bond. Having children in free spaces where they're not encumbered is really the optimal environment. It's an environment that allows teachers to get down on the ground and eye level with the children. It allows kids to move their hands, their arms, their legs, their whole bodies in ways that are exploratory and developmentally positive for them. What's important to our parents is to have their children in a safe and secure environment. And so safety is a combination of the physical environment and secure attachments that the infant makes with the teacher. We ensure the safety of our infants in our classrooms by carefully laying out the room arrangement, the areas of the classroom, and the kinds of interactions that can take place in them. So for example, we're very cognizant of the needs of a non-mobile infant versus an infant who is already crawling, even taking first steps or pulling themselves up. Tummy time is so critical because the baby is learning to lift its head, look around, develop the back muscle coordination and the physical coordination needed to do later skills such as rolling over and sitting up and ultimately crawling and walking. The equipment and the materials in an environment that is open and free in the infant classroom helps infants engage all five of their senses and creates an optimal environment for them to develop physically, social-emotionally, and cognitively.